Hi, I'm Eric. Um, I'm an associate in research in Taiwan Semiconductor Research Institute. Today, this video um, is is how to use Virtuoso to simulate the characteristic of the transistor. We will use the Virtuoso ADE environment to demonstrate. Um, we expect to make two charts. One is GN over ID versus GNRO, and another is on GN over ID versus ID per W. Okay. Now let me close the previous design. Mm, the former is usually used to ev evaluate the intrinsic gain of the single transistor in the process. Mm, in the design of the analog circuit, most of them will be used to determine the size of your transistor length. The data GNID versus ID per W chart, which we often call current density, is used to determine the width of the transistor when the current and GNID are determined. Um, about how to design an amplifier from the GNID chart, you can refer to my previous videos or wait for some time. Uh, I will recall it later. Okay, now we we go back our schematic. First of all, we, we will build a schematic. Here I use a PMOS as an example. The MOS part can refer to the previous video. Okay, first of all, we add some voltage here. So we have a uh, supply voltage in the source. Okay, here we call Vs, and it's get voltage here, Vg over here, and we check our parameter of this transistor. Here we will do some sweep, so we need to add some parameter. Um, usually, I will change multipliers uh, parameter. We give in a name called uh, MUL, and we we need to sweep. Then so, and then we call sweep hello sweep, and also the width we call W sweep. Okay, the the other we keep the same. It's okay. All right. Okay, then we can start the simulator. Simulator here. I use the ADE is polar as an example. Of of course, you can use the ADEL. It's the same. Okay. We create a new view. Okay. First, we copy the ver variable from the schematic to ADL and give the value of then. All right. Uh, sweep. We need to sweep the variable of L sweep from the minima 0 0.5 micron. So 0 0.5 micron. And the maximum value is 4 micron. The step size we keep 0 0.5 micron here. Uh, multi multiply we use uh, unit one and uh, VG here VG we uh, we keep in the value 0 0.6. It's also 0 0.6. And W sweep we give in the um, actually we can we can specify the any value of W sweep because when when we calculate the the current density uh, which I told is ID per W ID is proportional to W sweep and the width is also pro proportional to the W sweep so it will be um, Reduce from the functions. Of course, we can we can verify this 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 value after we simulation. So here I give him maybe ten micron. It's okay. Okay. 
Okay, so the voltage here we choose VG and VS are uh, the half of the supervited supply voltage of our technology. Mm, please note that the VS here actually re represent the voltage of VDS. VDS here. The VS actually is a VDS. And the VG we will will sweep a variable during the DC analysis. Um, so here the VG value is just an initial value. OK. So now uh, we choose DC sweep here. Just remember, you have to selection this set DC operation point. OK. And the DC value, you want to sweep the VG in order to get different G and variety situation, right? Okay, VG here, and the value is from 0 to 0 0.5, okay, we apply it, alright, now we can do some simulation, uh, I, I forgot to save my semantic, so that's okay, we just update and run. Okay, after finish that, we will use the tool and calculator. We want to obtain some parameter from the single transistor. So we will use this option, OS. Here you will see this uh, is uh, choose the DC operation point to create an expression to sweep the slide, slide point. Okay, so OS. We press it and we choose the device we want to check his DC operation point. Yeah. So the first parameter we want to use is G and over ID here. So we have a G and over ID and we send it back to our ADE L. Okay. We don't use this before. Oh, close me. Next, we want to get a ID current, right? But this is a PMOS, so the current we want to turn into make a positive value. So we will choose IS rather ID. Okay. So the current in PMOS we will we will choose ID, but in uh, in MOS we will choose ID, but in PMOS we will choose IS. Here, okay, IS, and we want to make the ID per W, right? So here we need to build the form formula by ourselves. Uh, the value, value, the value from the W sweep is is this way. Okay, this is on the line. Alright, so this is pressure and shows the I S per W sweep. W sweep is the parameter we we set before that we send to our IDEL. And we also want the GN multiplier R, right? So go back here and um, find our GN. GN here. And Find RO. RO is the GDS. So we need to GN over GDS, which is means GN multiply RO. And send back to our ADL. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me go back to our simulation here. And the expression we show here, I'll put set up. So we have um, we have uh, ID per W, and we also have a GN over GDS, and GN ID is here. Okay, now we click the simulation.
Okay, now so we have three plot because we we selection three plot here, and you can show you, you can see here that the x s axis is uh, is represented by the v g s route right because because we sweep the v g s, so the the y axis is the value we want to check the g n i d and this is the I, ID per W and this is the GN over GDS. So now what we do is change the X axis to the GN over ID. Now how we do that? We will use the calculation tool. Uh, there will be a spatial function we call the wave versus wave. So let me demo this. Uh, we go to tools and calculator. Now we'll be in the functional panel here. We type width. Okay, width versus width here. Now you will see the um, first, first, first here we will select the x trace and next we will select the y trace. And those this value will come from your your buffer memory. So we can easily choose our X trace as um, G and over ID. And the first part we want to check is G and RO. So G and G and RO. Okay. Uh, we don't have G and RO here because we don't make this this turn to our buffer. Let me place it here. Okay, we have GN over GN GDS. So we choose GN over GDS and apply. Then send to our AD. Now you will see the plot is right here. And we can give in a name. It's GN. GN plus RO. Okay, next we will make the GN. Uh, ID per W. So the same, the X trace is G and over ID, and the Y trace we will change to IS per W here. Apply and send to ID. So you will show right here ID per W value. Alright, so we don't need the others plot. Okay. Do simulation. Now you will see the uh, X axis will change into G and over ID, and the uh, Y axis is your your uh, your design pyramid like G and R O or ID per W. Usually will change the Y access to log scale to help you to more clear to check the plot. So in your design, when you design an amplifier, you can choose um, G and over ID situation you want, such as if you want 20 is your 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 device G and over ID, then you would know the ID current density of this situation. Once you get a a well, once you get a known current, then you will use the ID per W to emu emulate uh, your width of your transistor. And each plot, each line in this plot is mean different LO sweep we do. So from the 0 0.5 micron to 4.4 micron here. All right. Um, there is one more thing we. We assume the W is well not is independent to this part, so we change the the value here to see what will happen. Actually, it's the the plot is almost the same. So we now we from ten micron change to the one micron, and let me keep the previous part. Sorry, where is it? Let me keep. Let me append this, this part. Oh, here. I will append. Okay, run simulation.
we keep the old simulation part and compare to our new simulation when we choose the width into one micro. All right, it's finished. So you can compare these two chart. Obviously, they are overlap to get overlap. So let me use the cursor to check the value. So you will see the value. Uh, it's very close. Yeah, when you are 0 0.5 micron, they are almost the same value. One. 127, 127, and in the four micron, it's uh 1,300. Yeah, it's 1,300, right? Uh, and uh, in the current density, they are the same situation. They are the same. Mm, if we if we check the twelve GNID is equal to twelve. The ID for W is 2.99, and here is 2.96, and the, this one is uh, 0 0.372, here is 0 0.369, it's very close, but it's maybe it's a little, little uh, different, but it doesn't matter your design too much. So, the, the W you can choose from any value is okay here. Okay, now this is the the simulation how to use virtuoso idea to simulation your PMOS characteristic. Okay, hope you hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.